Hey guys, today we're going to talk about pa Patience, a.k.a. Patience. Last time I talked to her about why does she do stuff wrong and why is she like fucking bipolar or disa dis disabled or whatever fucking call it. But I said she's bipolar and the things she does is crazy. She's a bipolar person. I know what y'all are thinking if you haven't seen that part. Someone calling me at their words. But today, we are going to finish this up so I don't have to fucking do this shit again. Sorry for cussing, but still. I'm going to bring up a little bit of symptoms. She, she's really, truly bipolar? Or is she faking her, her problem? Let's find out. Part one. The thing she does. Part one, what the thing she does is before winter break, right? She was yelling at Sky and shit. And Sky didn't want to do anything about it. I should have stand up for her ass and fucking pushed her ass out of the fucking classroom. But you know, I'm a nice person, you know, I'm a fucking nah. After what Peyton did to me, I'm not gonna be nice anymore. <laughs> To her or fucking anybody else. If she says something, I'm glad Sky is gone. I'm going to go off. Off than a motherfucker. I'm going to go off than no one else has done before. I will go off like my fucking dad to anger. Because my, my fucking patience. Is this like a little bit of this? And once this feeder is meter is fucking gone, it's on. Part two: Why is she bipolar, or is she not? Is she disabled? You already know the answer. It's bipolar. Symptoms of a bipolar. There's different levels of it. A lot of different levels. I don't know. My uncle. My uncle. My aunt's boyfriend had it. Tony, right? He had it. Patience has it. You know, every... And to think that... You have it too, Dylan. People are saying that in the comments. I don't have bipolar, okay? Yeah, it runs to my fucking aunt's fucking side of the f his boyfriend. But, like, my dad's side of the family is fucking horrible. Except for my grandmother. And my great-grandmother. And Jody. And, like, none of these people talk to us anymore. You remember Jody? And Uncle Willie? And the great-grandma? Well, when she passed, my great-grandma passed away. They stopped talking to us. But you're gonna think, like... But Dylan, does, does patients have family? She does. I'm not saying no one else has fucking family. Everyone fucking has family. But to be honest. But what she says to people. It just makes them eye roll. Or pissed off. You know. I wouldn't say sorry to this fucking bitch. I wouldn't. Once she does something. She needs to stop doing it. Okay. I know I know what you're all going to say. But but Dylan. She has bipolar. She can't stop. I know that. But once she came to the fucking season two. When she went. When Miss Mary was there. And everybody was there. Before they left. I thought she was the fucking. I thought she was like. A student helper. But no. She followed us. And I'm like... I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm thinking to myself, is she new? Turns out, surprise, surprise, she's fucking new. She is new. And... Everybody didn't like her at first, and they still didn't need her. Because once season two, 
almost ended, Chris was talking about how unhappy or happy or fucking feeling syndrome. One person's happy, one person's sad. Like, I think she has both. Bipolar and feeling syndrome, y'all. Like, Chris told us that in Miss P's room before she left, too. And this shit, it's, it's funny because some of these teachers leave after their fucking first debut. When Miss when Miss P when Miss Dotling da, da, was in season one, she left right afterwards to find another job. When Miss P came in season two, she left after because she found another job. Mr. Aaron found another job. Miss Mary found another job. Miss Julie found another job. Kaylee found another job. Like, so many people left. And now we have Miss Mo, Miss Rosenthal, Mr. Coach Craver, Chris, Miss Emily. Like, we have so many pairs now. All oh, this one day. <laughs> I can't regret it. I can't fucking regret it. I'm gonna regret it. But Miss Kaylee, I, I wanna talk about her for a minute before I get back to Patience, the movie. Kaylee yells at Damari sometimes, and I hate that shit. He doesn't understand what you're trying to say to him. Tell him to shut up, shut the fuck up, we're trying to learn. Like, that's not. Okay. <clears throat> I know I'm not a teacher. But I'm a substitute. But to tell somebody to shut the fuck up and start learning to a non-verbal student, he doesn't know that. Okay. But enough of that. Let's talk. Let's still talk about the patient. Part three. The almost death of Litzy, y'all, or hospitalized Litzy, or whatever that episode was. Okay, when Patience fucking left. This is how and why I hate this character from the beginning. She left. Ran outside. Litsy ran after her. Patience tried to push her through the car. And the car tried didn't I thought the car was not gonna stop. But it didn't. It did stop. You insignificant piece of fucking crap. You tried to kill people, dude. You're a psychopath. That's a definition of a psychopath there. Trying to kill people. Feeling syndrome. Like this... These states of fucking psychopath is what she fucking is. She says to... She does it to everyone. Everyone and everything she knew. Is she evil? She is evil, y'all. And I know what y'all are thinking right now. But done, she's not evil. Well, she fucking is. She's rude to Damari. She's rude to Peyton. She's rude to me. She's rude to every fucking buddy in the fucking class. She's rude to everybody in the fucking class, y'all. Do you not think what I'm trying to say here? Like, she's a rude fucking son of a bitch. She's fucking horrible, y'all. She's talking about <clears throat> leaving school and never coming back. Good. I hope you fucking do that. Fucking bitch. Go live with fucking Ryan or something. Or Troy. I don't know. Even fucking... Some of these characters are stupid. And, she t and you're all telling me in the comments in some of the school episodes, she can change, she can change. She hasn't changed once. She does the same cycle over and over and over again. And I was trying to thinking, what about Salvador? What about, 
what Peyton did to me. Well, let me talk to you about this. Before spring break happened, I came back from work. I didn't have, I didn't have work. I don't know. It was Friday. I came back from work. My bus driver dropped me off. I walked down the. I walked to the classroom. No one was in there. I was assuming they're outside. They're outside, right? They are outside. So. I think I was sick that day. I didn't want to go. So, anyway, we're outside. And it was almost the end of the day. Go home, right? Salvador out of nowhere calls me fat. And Manfred gets a fucking... She's already pissed off because of Peyton, what Peyton did. And she gets more angry from Salvador's BS. Like, why me? What the fuck did I do? Was it because I'm fat? Like, get over it. Like, get the fuck over it. If I'm fat, so fucking what? Like, so fucking what? Am I fat, so what? Tell me, you're fat, boy, you can't run. Bitch, you can't run either. Put you in a track fucking... If you let you come dead fucking last. And everyone stopped and looked at me. And looked at me. <clears throat> they looked at she they look all they all they all stop, all the classmates stop and look at me. And they said, Are you alright? I'm like, Yeah, I'm fucking fine. And in the next fucking few days in spring break, I was not fucking fine. Because this idiot was making me angry and pissed off more and more and I had to talk about him. You know what? Fuck him. When school fucking starts September or whatever it starts. Because we're still in quarantine because of the stupid ass coronavirus. And. And what's worse. Is that. The aggression that these kids have. It just makes me angry. No one else has this treatment. Not Philip, not Matthew, not David. Well, David fucking sort of. He's gets in people's business. Not, not, not Matthew, not Diamond, not Tylasia, not Sky, not anybody of these characters you fucking knew and loved hasn't had this treatment. But Chris had. Sky hasn't any of any of you else except for Patience, Peyton, Robin A, Chris. Miss Kaylee, Miss P, and everybody else has this fucking treatment from me. Part six. What patience laughs about. Okay, what patience laughs about. This shit's stupid, okay? This shit's stupid, all right? First off, we're in class, and it's free day Friday, right? We're doing drawing and shit. Everybody is talking over there. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And hey, I'm looking over there, and they're, like, fucking talking about what boyfriends they have. And, like, what the fuck? I don't know. Fuck you. Fuck that. Um, but then Patience starts to laugh when she says... Sky says, I never met my grandmother, father, and she starts to cry. And she says, if you cry, I cry too. Like, what the fuck? You haven't, you have no sympathy of why to cry because Sky is crying because she hasn't met her grandfather. Are you fucking stupid? I don't care what you fucking have to say. This bitch is so fucking blind. I know what y'all are thinking right now. But, Dylan, you have to say, no, the fuck I don't. She fucking, she laughs about what, I made my grandmother stub my toe, and she fucking laughed. And I'm like, you have no sympathy for your grandmother? If I did that to my own fucking grandma, I was about to go off. Ooh. But you luckily I stayed out of it, because I didn't want to get in people's business.
I'm like David's stupid self. Also, it was a tough week that week before we went off spring break. David Hynoski, the JROTC man, the co the company commander, passed away due to an illness. <clears throat> and it's sad, too. I look back, and there's so many good times that we met and shit. But you know enough about that. But, you know, Patience laughs. She cries. And then... And then, out of nowhere, she starts crying. Like, what the fuck do we do? <laughs> and she went up to the fuck. Like, I don't know what happened after that. She left. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? First off, she was fucking happy talking about stuff. Then she starts to laugh about her grandmother's illness, fucking her stuff in her toe. Then she starts to fucking cry. Literally five minutes later, she starts to fucking cry. Like, what the fuck did we do to you? Like, there's no sympathy for what you fucking do. None whatsoever. You have no soul for people's... You're like my uncle. You are a fucking... Laugh or fucking make people suffer and laugh about it. But anyway, I'm out of here. Part 8. The conclusion. Patience has bipolar and syndrome. She does everything she does about making people run over by a car, yelling at people, cussing them out, and telling them no if you don't want to be your boyfriend. Worst of all, she makes people suffer, making her grandmother suffer, and stubbed her toe, cries out of nowhere, and people, listen to me right now, do not act like this person. I'm trying to give you life lessons here. They don't fuck, if you, if you don't want to be like this person, don't, don't be like her, okay? If you meet her in fellowship games, if you're like, I don't know if you're in my... If you're in, like, ACP or whatever you're in, if you're in fellowship games, don't fucking talk to her. Anyway, I'm out of here. Like, subscribe. Sh share this video with all your friends. And I'm done. Nice to meet y'all. Anyway, guys, I'm out of here. Like, subscribe. Favorite and share. And that's it.